Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sunday. Uh, also, it's Easter, so happy Easter. Um, today went a little better than yesterday in terms of how tired I was and um, how much I was able to accomplish. It wasn't like a lot better, but it, it was better. Um, one thing that happened is I have my computer on. That's good. I didn't get a lot done on it, but at least it's on, so I'm <laughs> making some progress. Uh, I got about mm, five hours of sleep last night, which is not a lot, but it's also not maybe unusual because, you know, yesterday I slept a lot of the day, so I figured that I probably wouldn't have a full night's rest. So I woke up probably around 8 a.m. and uh, got started on my day, and uh, I was able to take care of a few things, most notably laundry, because I still had all my dirty laundry from the trip, so I, I got started doing that. Um, I did a few other little things around the house, like I needed to do some dishes, and uh, Mal and I hadn't been up, like, all that long, longer than yesterday, but not all that long before we were like, eh, maybe we'll take a nap. So we took a, a, you know, a somewhat substantial nap, and then woke up and uh, did dinner. Mal also streamed today. And that is because Mao is going to be out of town again. So uh, it was important that she, if she was going to stream, she should do it today. And um, that was it. That was, that was the entire, that was the entire day. Was it better than yesterday? Yes. But was it still like not a lot happened? Yes. There is such a necessary recovery period from international travel. And uh, I'm, I'm going through it. The other thing is that I feel fairly certain at this point that I can say definitively, yeah, probably have jet lag. Um, it's, it's a little hard to discern jet lag sometimes because when you first get back from a trip, you're like really tired somewhat, and uh, it can be hard to figure out if it's one or the other. Jet lag can happen in really wild ways where like you're totally fine, and then all of a sudden you're totally not and you just have to rest. But the other way that jet lag manifests is like this just sense of fogginess, and I definitely have some of that. Definitely have some of that. There's this sense of just like, you can't think super clearly. And what's interesting is that I am still dealing with that low-level dizziness that I've had since the beginning of February, and that dizziness combined with the fogginess is a very strange combination. My head feels a little weird, a little weighted down, a little strange. I don't love it, um, but, you know, I'm, I'm doing my best. Sleep is something that's going to help. So I continue to try and prioritize sleep right now and uh, just try and make little tiny improvements every day. I figure if I can get some sleep stay up on sleep, try to get in bed at like reasonably good times, um, then I can slowly get back to work. And I did get some things done today, and I got my computer on, and that's good. Um, but there's still so much left to do, and I have not jumped into editing the Japan vlogs yet. T tomorrow? Pro probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. The other big thing that happens tomorrow is that Mao is going out of town, um, but we'll talk about why tomorrow. For now, it's been a strange day, but I'm going to go to bed and hopefully sleep through the entire night. The other thing is that the first night we were home, kept he was sweet, but he woke me up a lot, and that didn't really happen last night. Like he he had 24 hours of like, oh my god, you're home, you're home, you're home, and then that has now gotten out of his system, and he's leaving me alone, which is um, good. That's preferred, so I can get a little, a little more sleep that way. Uh, okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?